Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG and today I'd like to go over a little bit of a, I would like to say I guess a weird scenario um, uh, inside the all for one sealed product stuff. But anyway, other than that too, also to kind of go over, you know, should you pre-order all for one? Is it worth the money? What's it like? So forth and so on. Is it worth, you know, because we we just got off the the Dominaria Master video, and the FOMO is real, um, and I'm wondering if it's having if it's going to start creeping over into other sets um, as they start coming out. Also, what will be in all for one? So before we get started, don't forget to try and get to a thousand subscribers. So please sub up. But to start off with, let's talk about when the spoiler is going to come out for all for one. So Phyrexia all for one. Uh, story and everything is going to begin on the 12th, so that's going to be uh, this Thursday-ish. Uh, we get a cinematic trailer on the 17th. Uh, on that same day, card previews are going to start. Uh, that's what we're all really waiting for. Uh, oddly enough, the 17th is on a Tuesday. I don't know why they're starting on a Tuesday, but whatever. Uh, the previews are going to run from Tuesday to the next Wednesday. Which is all fine and dandy. Uh, we'll get commander previews in there as well. Uh, we'll have a complete card deck images on the 26th. We'll have way before that. But anyway, um, a pre-release with loading ready run. If anybody even watches that stuff, um, I've tried to watch those. And nothing gets loading ready run, but God, they're boring. Just yeah, just it's not for me. Uh, February 3rd through 9th is the in-store pre-release events. That's going to be a lot of fun, and then. Uh, on the 7th, it's going to come out in Arena and online, which again is some very weird days because February 3rd is the Friday, um, and to be completely fair, the 7th is a Tuesday for Arena, along with other global digital releases, which again, why why is Tuesday suddenly their go-to? It's just really weird. Anyway, tabletop release will be on the February 10th. Um, which is that Friday, and then we have in-store launch party events that weekend, uh, MagicCon Philadelphia, and Pro Tour Phyrexia is going to be on the 17th, which is the following Friday through the 19th, um, and then we have the store championship events starting February 25th, which is the following Saturday, running all the way through March 5th, which is a whole week, which is the following Sunday. Uh, and something else I wanted to talk about, the Complete Edition Bundle release is going to be released on March 3rd, which again is a Friday, not a Tuesday like everything else, so I don't get it. Maybe it's because it's an actual physical product and they like to release those on Fridays. Who really knows? But what got my attention as I was putting this video together is some of the prices for some of the product. Uh, some of it's fine. Um, I'm not going to say it's not, but there's a few things I wanted to point out to you guys and make you aware of uh, to save you a few bucks because uh, people are obviously buying this stuff and I don't know why. But anyway, so moving right along, we'll talk about the all for one products and their cost. So we'll start off first with the collector's edition. So the collector edition here, you can see this is from TCG Player, currently selling for $218 a box. That's not terrible. You can see they started out at like 279, so the Lord in heavens, um, and they have slowly, well let's not say slowly, they have the last two months crashed down to the 218 market they're at now. Um, there might be a little more downtick. Uh, I think it's really going to depend, uh, but once I think the 17th gets here, we actually start getting real spoilers. Um, that may go up. A little bit because I don't think Phyrexia All is one's a bad set. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's gonna have a lot of cool cards, and I think the biggest thing that people are wondering is, are there going to be serialized cards? From what I've seen, uh, in my personal opinion, I'm gonna say no. Here's why. Uh, by now, we would have seen or heard a leak of a serialized card. 
Yes, serialized cards were great in Brothers War. Everybody loved them, to the best of my knowledge, and thought they were the bee's knees. Now, the problem with that is because Wizards prints these so far in advance, they could not guarantee a serialized card in this one because if it bombed in the previous set, why spend the extra money to make them for this set? Much like box toppers and other things, you know, once they find out something might not be received well, they immediately stop doing it. So it's very rare they do those things back to back in sets, which is on one standpoint, it sucks. On another standpoint, it's kind of cool that we every set has something different. But I don't know if Phyrexian All is One will have anything that's that different. And here's why. There's already stuff in the Phyrexian language. There's alternate cards. There's the anime version. And I think those are the ones, the things that they're going to try to use to kind of sell this product. Um, now, with that said, I kind of hope there are serialized cards in this set. Because I really think that's the way to go. Uh, maybe make less of them so they're harder to get. But at the end of the day, uh, I like serialized cards. Unfortunately, my prediction is there won't be serialized cards in this set if you want to collect them. But there's plenty of other cool things. You know, the anime, Phyrexian text, Phyrexian text anime probably. Um, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, and maybe um, we'll talk about the complete bundle set later, but the uh, Phyrexian oil foils, God, it's going to be hard to say, uh, may be what the serialized cards are to the previous set. So that may be what the chase is. And those might only be uh, in the collector boosters, and if I had to guess, I'd probably say they are. So with that said, I think 218 is a fair price. Um you can get them cheaper in other places if you look real hard or have a friend at a store. Um, but around $200, I think, is a fair price for this product. Uh, so, yeah, so I think this has probably got as low as it's going to go, probably around the 200 range. Now, moving on to draft boosters. So, draft boosters started out at 140 which who in God's green earth would ever pay that? Um, and they've went down to 113 um, you can see here, starts high, ends low, uh, and there are people who are buying them as of today. Um, 110 to 113 seems like a decent price for a draft box. Um, with the price increases from Wizards across all the products, this seems about the normal margin of where we're going to be at for draft from now on. Uh, so nothing too wrong with that, although you could probably get them for less than 100. And if you can, you might as well pick up a couple because it's going to be fun to play and fun to draft, I think. So, not a really big, rig, real big deal there. So next we go on to set boosters. Here's something I find interesting. Set boosters are only going for a dollar more. Um, and if you've watched my box opening video series, set boosters always come in at a better rate of return if you're wanting to collect cards for value for later, more kind of like investing to make a set. Set boosters will give you a higher rate of return by almost 10 to $20 over draft, and they're only going for a dollar more right now. Um, and obviously, if you go to other places, you might even get cheaper than that. But the fact that both these boxes are floating around 110 is really weird for me um, because set boxes are clearly better, and they're going to produce better products, especially because they have the list, and Lord knows what's going to be in the list. We haven't even seen that yet. Um, there could be all kinds of cool stuff in there from the old Mirrodin sets. So... That's to be seen, but my thing is, if people are going to sell draft and set this close together, unless you want to get draft boosters just to draft later or with friends, you should be buying set boosters in my personal opinion. Um, and as always, I have these products coming in. I will do a box opening series, compare prices of both, and I'll give you a real answer whether or not I was right after I open them. So there's that. And then finally... And this is the real humdinger here. This is the complete edition bundle that has the oil slick foils or whatever the hell they're called. Um, so it says here there's going to be 10 foil lands that are going to be special foils. Uh, it contains 12 always one set boosters, one traditional foil rare promo card, 40 additional foil lands uh, that celebrate the glory of Phyrexia, and one complete edition exclusive foil card storage box. So... Yes, this is a little higher than normal, but here's my thing. Um, it started off around the $80 mark, below $80. It looks like between like 
eight, well, around 80 bucks. Anyway, they shot up to 82, and that's the market price. People are buying these for $89.94. And that's cool and all, but do people not realize these are on sale at Amazon for 80 bucks? I mean, I know $9 ain't, ain't a big deal, um, and I'm all about supporting your local LGS. But it, here's the thing, guys. When you look at Amazon, Amazon and the dumps they do on Amazon, the prices, are, as much as Wizards don't want to give us a retail price, Amazon is the manufacturer retail price of what these boxes should be because they're selling straight to Amazon direct to consumers. So when they price something on Amazon, that's what they want to charge for it or what they think it should be charged at because with that, that means they're going to get probably two or three times the profit, probably three times because there's no distributor, there's no LGS, and that's a business model they're trying to get to. So with that being said, if you look at this, here's a list of Amazon prices. Uh, go to the complete bundle, 80 bucks. So that's the price that this should be. People are buying it up like crazy, 89 for some reason, when they could just get it here. Uh, I did go to Amazon and try to put one in my cart. It let me, so they're orderable. Uh, and it doesn't come out the March 3rd, so they can print more, and they probably will. Um, now, if you go to the other boxes, again, 313 here. Um, I think that's a little high. I think 289 should be the manufacturer retail sale price, but uh it is close and maybe that extra money is to you know grease the palms of amazon uh and then here for a set booster you see 169.50 for the draft booster 158 you can again you can see like i mentioned before there's a basically a ten dollar difference between the boxes um so that's probably what we're used that's what i'm used to seeing and that's what they're showing us here um so in my opinion these are your manufacturer retail sell prices uh, maybe minus $10 or $20 or 10 or 20% depending, uh, only because maybe that, maybe that's part of the, what well, we're going to have to pay Amazon. So we'll jack the prices up a little higher than we want to. Uh, but this is what I do is I go to Amazon, find out what they're selling for on Amazon and then find out if I'm getting a good deal or not. So food for thought guys, something to think about as always though, definitely look, support your local LGSs. Um, but at the same time, it's got to be done within reason. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a delicate one, but it is what it is. So before I go, one last thing. Don't buy this. This is bad. Anyway, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to sub up. Until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table.